What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we have the game of the week. Oklahoma, Indiana. OU is the home team and boy am I a little bit nervous. They are ranked number 11, have yet to play a game. We played versus Oregon and I must admit that our running back situation is not ideal. Our best running back on the roster is Rodney Smith, who I do love, but I don't know if he's a home run threat, home run hitter. And that's what we are used to, especially after last year with Corey Ashley and the year that he was able to put together. Our prize recruit, he is more of a power back, talking about R.J. Larkin. So we're going to see what we can do versus OU. If we do lose, it might dampen our national championship aspirations, but we will still have an opportunity to win the Big Ten. You feel me? So first down in 10, we get the ball first. Gonna run that ball with, with uh, Smith. About to say RJ Smith, but it's Rodney Smith. And Rodney's gonna get upfield for a game of four. Gonna give it to him one more time. And he gets shut down. And we're looking at third down and three from the 22 yard line. Johnson rolling out, looking for Walker, who's left wide open. Makes the catch, but is hit pretty hard. And the ball comes loose. And OU's going to take over at the 31-yard line in Indiana Territory. So OU goes with the run play, and Carroll gets upfield for a gain of three from the 28-yard line. Travis Mays going to hand it to the big fullback, and guess who it is? Booker, number 94, is an absolute stud at the tackle. They throw the ball to the flat. It's going to be caught, but well short the first down marker. They got to settle for a field goal. The kick is up, and the kick is is good so OU strikes first three nothing is the score offset I look for Indiana gonna run the ball with Rodney Smith gets past the line of scrimmage for a gain of three and goes no further quick pass to Walker you know we trust you we're gonna come right back to you we know you're gonna hang on to that football for us we come back and run the ball with Larkins he gets back to the line of scrimmage minus one so it's gonna be second down and 11 but we're gonna find Jason Miller over the middle and that's going to result in a first down for the Hoosiers. We go to the air, but that pass will not even reach its destination as we get hit in the backfield. Incompletion was the ruling on the field. We're going to run the ball with Smith, who picks up a first down. Now from the 21, Johnson rolling out, drops it off to Walker, who got spun forward. And that's going to be a first down move, though, Shane. Ronnie Smith going to bounce it to the outside and gets inside the five. So it's going to be second down and four. We're going to run the ball with Mayer, and he's going to go nowhere. So third down and five, quick pass to the left side, and that pass falls incomplete. So they got to settle for a field goal. Kick is up, and the kick is good. Charles Johnson, of course, was the number one high school kicker in the land, and he's our kicker now. How you like us? We know how to recruit just a little bit. Travis Mays showing that he's more than just a pocket passer. Gets out of the box, and he's going to pick up a first down. Drops this one off to Smith. Now it's going to be second down and eight. Mays fires it, and that pass will be dropped from the 35. Third down and eight. Travis rolls to right, throws it back to the left, caught by Smith. And OU is now in Indiana territory at the 23-yard line. Mays rolls out, fires it, and while he was on the run, his accuracy was less than desirable. Mays fires it, caught by Williams. Does he have enough for a first down? The answer is yes. From the 13 now, they run the ball with Carroll, who is bottled up, but we can't bring him down. And then Booker will chase him down from behind. There's a flag on the play. It's clipping, so back this thing up. And number 29, Carroll is a little bit shaken up. Booker again with the man with the stop. Now Mays is going to keep it himself. He gets dropped by Swoops, and it's going to be second down at 25. Mays rolls right, throws it right, and double coverage is going to be caught by Thurman. Can you believe it? It was double coverage, and we still can't make the play. So 10-3 is the score. Johnson looking to the right side, runs out of time, and he's going to get sacked. So we bring in a true freshman, Meyer, and look what Meyer can do. We even threw traffic, and that's going to result in a first down as we head to the second quarter. So Corny Johnson back in the ballgame. We're going to run it with Smith. No, it's a play fake, but they did not bite, and they get the sack. Two sacks. For this OU defense. Second down and 18. Rodney Smith trying to turn the corner and he does. Send him a third down and short. And on third and one, Smith gets the carry, but a huge hit was laid upon him. And we go backwards. And we got to get the ball right back to OU. May is under some pressure. And will the real Mike Williams please stand up? 
second down and 13, and Mike Williams is in there again. So third down and 14 now, Mays throws it deep down the right sideline, and it's going to be caught by Thurman, and again, he beats double coverage, acting like Randy Moss, the big boss from back in the day. That pass is going to go backwards, loss of six on a pass play. Do you believe it? That pass caught by Smith, brought down by Houston, and that's going to set up OU with the third down and seven. And Carroll is loose. He's going to weave through traffic like a mama new hairdo. And that's going to result in a touchdown for Oklahoma. The Sooners are now up by 14. Direct snap to Smith. Trying to turn the corner. Can't do it. Gets back to the line of scrimmage and goes no further. Johnson to Willis. Overthrows everybody and their mama. From the 20-yard line, third down. Rolling out Johnson, looking for Willis again. And Patrick is going to lay out. Makes the catch. Move those chains. And we're going to be up to the 46-yard line. I'm going to get the ball to Larkins. And he goes nowhere. From the 47, under some pressure, that's James. And that's going to be the defense's third sack of the ball game. Johnson looking downfield, gets hit. That pass is tipped. And that's going to bring the drive to an end. So they have Carroll back there at his own 25. Makes one guy miss, and now he's loose. Up to the 50. Nobody's going to catch him, and he's going to go coast to coast. House call for OU, and that's just going to make things worse. 24 to 3 is now the score. We take over from our own 26. Y'all, I'm going to run the ball with Larkins, and he gets absolutely demolished. Second down and 13. Quick pass caught by Miller. And that results in a nice pickup. So it's going to be third down and four. Johnson rolls to the right slightly. Throws it to Rodney Smith. Our running back was lined up in the slot. And he's going to make a decent play out of it. Going back with our option attack. And we're able to pick up just three from the 44. Johnson lets it fly. Caught by Jason Miller. What a pass by Courtney Johnson. And we're at the Oklahoma 35-yard line. Going over the middle again. Caught by Patrick Willis. And that's going to lead to... A first down. We're at the 14 now. Johnson looking towards the end zone. Throws it away. But he was not outside the tackle box. And that's going to lead to intentional grounding. Now Johnson looking Willis's way. Makes the catch in the end zone for six. Touchdown. And just like that, we are back in this ball game. There goes Smith trying to get loose. He's going to get all you up to the 41-yard line. Mays. Looking to do some damage with only a few seconds on the clock. Throws it to the flat. Caught for a gain of five. They get out of bounds. Mays looking downfield on second down. Double coverage caught by Smith. And they're up to the 30-yard line. The wind's going about 20 miles per hour with them. And that's an easy field goal right there. So one second on the clock. We're down by 17. Can Walker get busy and do something? Answers no. And that's going to bring the first half to an end. And Mickey Walker is a little bit banged up. Hopefully it's not too serious. Because we might be throwing the ball. And we might need our number one receiver. I'm just saying. We could be in some trouble, ladies and gentlemen. Number 11 is over number 14 by 13 points. They're going to run the ball with Carroll. And look at my homie Frazier. Going to lay that man down. Second down and nine. They run the ball again. And we're going to put him on the ground one more time. That's Stewart. Third down and eight. They fake the run on third down. They throw it deep, and that pass will be caught by Smith. He continues to make play after play. They fire it, but this time he forgot his hands on that last play. Second down and 10. Mays throws it. That pass falls incomplete. So third down and 10 from the 39. Mays has all day in the pocket. Throws it deep downfield, and Houston is there at the last second to break it up. So fourth down and 10, we send a corner blitz, and Martinez is there to lay the lumber. And we're going to take over from the OU, from the Indiana, excuse me, 46-yard line. Going to throw it in just like that with one pass play. We are in OU territory at the OU 29. Johnson looking, fires it. That pass will be dropped by Jones. Second down, 10 yards to go. Johnson looking, throws it. Caught by Willis, and Willis gets us inside the five. So first and goal from the four, Rodney Smith gets into the end zone untouched. And now it's 27 to 17. OU takes over. Quick pass intercepted by Houston. Our secondary has been victimized. But right then, 
We're like, I'm done being bullied. Let me get my screwdriver and handle some business. I'm just saying, it does happen. Second down and 10. Johnson looking downfield, and that pass will be dropped by Miller. So it's third down and long. Looking for Willis one more time. He's left open, and he gets into the end zone for the second time today. So we are definitely back in this ball game right now. Can our defense get another stop is the question. Or will OU continue to put hands on us? There goes Carroll, weaving through traffic. So far, he's untouched. Martinez giving chase, and he's not going to catch him. So untouched from one goal line to the next. Carroll takes it all the way to the crib, 103 yards. So 24 to 34. We're down by 10. That pass was not accurate at all. Second down and 10 from the 20-yard line. Johnson looking to Miller. He makes the catch, and we have ourselves another first down. From the 37, going to run the ball with Smith. The blocking to the left side wasn't the greatest, and we lose one yard. We're going to run the ball again to the left side. No blocking there again, but we pick up around two. So from the 38, third down and nine. Johnson rolling out, throws it to Miller, who makes another catch. Courtney Johnson is out there throwing nothing but Dawkins dimes. You feel me? So we have Meyer back in the ball game, and look at the option threat. Do his thought fizzle, one of the top dual threat quarterbacks in the nation, making his presence known today. Taylor, he makes the catch, then he gets bounced around for a gain of five. And that's going to result in a loss of round two, trying to run that option. So third down, we're going to run the ball with Larkins, and he's in the end zone yet again. It's a touchdown for Indiana, and we're back down by three. They throw the ball to Smith. A little short dump off. He takes the little short pass right up the middle of the field, and that results in a first down. They're going to run the ball at this defense, and we're there for the stop. Second down and nine. They're going to run the ball again. Carroll wheeling through traffic, jumping over people, just doing his thing. Whatever he wants to do on the football field, this man can do it. From the 42, Mays fires it, caught by Smith. He's trying to get loose, and he will get loose for an Oklahoma first down. First down and 10. Mays throwing it deep, and I swear I thought I had a Yahoo! Say, I, I promise you I thought I did, but boy, was I wrong. So we give up another touchdown. We're down by 10 again. 41-31 is the score. Got to score quickly. Johnson throwing this one to Willis. I mean, he's turning into our best receiver. And I know that Mickey's out, but my goodness gracious. Fourth quarter time. So from the gun, we're going to go with the direct snap. And Larkins gets upfield with the quickness gain of seven. Johnson looking downfield. Throwing it to Miller again. Who makes another catch? These two receivers are putting on a show. Larkins, he gets to carry one more time. And Larkins gets close to the first down marker. Not going to quite have it. Second down and one. Courtney Johnson rolling out. Still rolling. Now he's just going to throw it away to play another down. From the 15, give it to the big fullback. Stop messing around and get that first down. And Houston is a little bit shaking up. Our star left guard, right guard, one of our guards. He's a beast at guard. Just know that much. Anyways, we throw the pass. That's going to be caught by Willis. Now we're going to run the ball. Smith gets bottled up and beat down. Second down to go. Going to run the ball with Larkins, who's in the end zone for another score. So again, we are down by three. We give up another nice kick return to Smith. And it's going to be first down and 10. And run the ball. Carroll, huge hit put on him. Stewart is there for the fumble recovery. It was Booker. Number 94 is an absolute dog. Absolute dog. Our 2 deep tackles are just some behemoths. Please believe it. Please, please believe it. Johnson fires it to Miller. He gets up in there for the touchdown. Let's go. We have the lead. For the first time today, we have the lead, my friends. Do you believe in miracles? 45-41 is the score. They fake it. They throw it to the left side. That's going to be caught. But his, yeah, he got dropped by Frazier. Number 42, he going to fly around and make some plays. There goes Carroll trying to get around the corner. Brought down by a battle. Third down and six. They run a little draw. And he's going to escape. He's going to continue to escape. Still on his feet. And finally dropped just shy of the 50. They're going to go with the ground game again. And Carroll's going to turn the corner again. McNamara is there for the stop. Second down and three. Carroll trying to turn the corner. He does, but was it enough for the first down? No. Third and inches from the 42. They run the ball again, breaking another tackle and picking up the first down just barely. Stewart is there to finally wrestle him to the turf. 
So toss play now from the 40 yard line and Carroll is loose. Continues to break tackle. Stewart is there yet again. And this time he makes a tackle about 12 yards downfield. Mays, he makes the catch, little backward pass. So I guess a QB keeper, essentially. And now we have a man down that doesn't look to be too good. So looking downfield is Mays. That pass is going to be broken up. Thank you, Henry. Third down and four. Battle over the edge, and that's going to result in a sack. So fourth and nine. You probably got to go for it. A field goal will still leave you down. So on fourth and nine, they will go to the air. Mays fires a call by Smith, but not enough for the first. Dale Martinez was there for the game. Saving tackle or was he? We still got to pick up a couple of first downs. Smith gets the carry. Gets bottled up and beat down after a game of just four. Meyer to the right side. And he's going to pick up the first down. And they got to burn another timeout. So they have one timeout left. Now it's third down, 32 seconds on the clock. Third down and three. We run the ball with Lorcas, who has some space to operate. And we just came to OU. And we done beat OU. What a game. 45 to 41 is the final. We were down 24 to 3. We were down 21 points. And we came back. What a game. I think. Like, that game right there just proved that Courtney Johnson is our quarterback, like, for real, for real. That composure rating right there is all the way up. You see for uh, Mayer, Meyer, excuse me, his is low. Uh, Dan Smith, his is pretty low. Oh, uh, Dan Adams, excuse me, not Smith, but Adams. His is pretty low as well. Um, so, hopefully, none of these guys transfer. Hopefully, these guys can stick around because if we could start to be a little bit of a factory where one guy leaves, another guy just steps up right in their place, I think going to be just fine. Uh, but what a difference from last year. Last year, we lived and died with Corey Ashley. There were a couple of games where we needed Courtney Johnson to step up and make a big throw. This game was nothing but big throw after big throw after big throw after big throw from Big Courtney, man. So big game for him. Hopefully we can get some momentum from these two victories heading into Big Ten play because it doesn't get easier. We got Ohio State next. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And until we meet again, my friends, peace, love, hot sauce.